I'm Jeremy McLaren. Welcome to 1111 Overland. I'm with John today and we are replacing the front daytime running lights on his JL Wrangler. Now he has had two sets of American Adventure Labs lights and both have had problems. So John has decided to make a change. Going with Quake, um, different design, but you can see here, this one is splotchy, white and amber the whole time. That one, the white works, but the amber is burnt out. Um, yeah. Mm. And this is, your, this is your second pair? Yeah, I got this pair a year ago, and the first pair lasted about a year as well. So. Did you contact them after the second pair went bad? No. I figured one pair is good enough for me to go bad. Second pair... Did they replace the first pair that went bad? They did. Got it. So they would probably re gladly replace this pair as well, but you decided to switch manufacturers. And this is what you got. Quake LED. Yep. Same function, a little bit of a different design. They make yeah, the same design, but I actually kind of like these ones better. Now, for those of you who have watched the channel for a while, you know I put a set of Quake LED fog lights on mine, and I have one of those has gotten foggy, and fog lights aren't supposed to be foggy. Uh, it still works okay, but it's got, you know, condensation and things inside it. I contacted Quake multiple times and they, didn't, they never responded. So um, we'll see if John has a similar experience with these Quake lights. John, are these your first Quake lights? Yep. Okay. So this is the first ones he's done. Hopefully he has a better experience than what I've had. Why are LED lights so challenging? And why is it, I mean, it, I guess people will tell you, the ones who sell really high powered um, high quality, very expensive lights will tell you don't compromise on quality because you know, you'll end up having to replace them. Um, I just wish those darn things weren't five times the cost. So the Quake is supposed to be a premium brand. So we'll see. <laughs> How come it always makes that sound when you open a box? That's really weird. Huh? Kind of a cool design. I like the retro look of it. So uh, there's three areas of the Anyone who works on Jeeps knows that those plastic clips are like a bane of our existence. It, it just feels like you're always breaking the clips on them, the tabs on them, that no two are alike. Sometimes you lift up a tab, other times you push it down, sometimes you push in, sometimes you push on the bottom. Ugh. Electrical industry, if you're, if you're listening right now, please standardize your clip system. Now, before we wire everything all up, we wanna test the light and make sure it works. It'd be disappointing to get it all plugged in and then find out that, uh, the light was broken or something, so. Let's plug this in. It's almost like it's the wrong plug. Okay. Oh, it worked. Okay. It was backwards. That's interesting. Okay. So it works, but somehow the clip was put in backwards. So see how the clip part here, you're supposed to clip in? The factory one is on the opposite side. So for some silly reason, that clip is supposed to line up with this side, but this had to go in backwards. And the other side wasn't like that, but it's in, it's connected. Yep. Just doesn't have a locking mechanism to it. Oh. 
Yeah, that was a very easy towel. It looks good. Yeah. I really like the look of them, actually. All right, let's get this cable. You say out. actually, were you debating on that? I was kind of unsure, but I really like them. All right. Because they, they, make, they make one that's the exact same design as the American Adventure Lab, and they have one that's like a smoke out and then a regular one. Mm -hmm. Regulator or something here, resistor. Resistor, probably. We're gonna find it. It's got adhesive on the back. Yep. We just gotta clean a spot off so it can get stuck up there, and then we'll route the wires and zip tie it up. Yep. All right. That's stuck up on there nicely. Now we're just gonna zip tie it in place. Oh, we're going around the bolt, huh? Yeah. Fancy. It's gonna hold it a little bit more. So after zip tying it up, we just put the fender liner back on, the lock bolts back in, and it's all done. So it was a pretty easy little install. Uh, I think John will be happy with it. We tested the lights, they look good. And uh, yeah, thank you to Quake LED for selling John these lights. <laughs> no sponsoring here, but we appreciate you watching today. Thanks again, this has been John and Jeremy, and this is and continues to be 1111 Overland.